Hello everybody, welcome back to another video about Amazon Game Studios, new MMO, new world. This week we're going to dive into the PvP play of new world. So, what do we know so far? Let's take a quick recap. First of all, fighting is real-time combat, so it's a more skill-based system. That means lower levels can potentially take on bigger levels. Gear does play an issue, and so does your item's level. But, developers have said... In theory, a lower level player who has better skill can defeat a higher level player. They're not saying like 50s to 60s, they're more like 5 levels. I would imagine 5 levels between each other. You could probably take each other on pretty well. Also, <clears throat> you need to plan and position your tactics. As unlike other MMOs where you click and you target your, um, your opponent, you need to set up your attacks and be in the position to a dodge, evade, or get a good strike on somebody. Also, classes are not a thing in this game. Your class is based on what you use. So if you're heavy armor, you're going to be able to take more damage. If you're lighter armor, you're going to be a little bit more faster. Though. And that's been confirmed since the last video. If you There's actually item weight in this game. So the item weight, more you carry, the lower your speed's going to be. So just remember that if you're going into PvP, you want to have most of your stuff pretty light on you. Unless you're a heavy tank then you're obviously your armor is going to lower your speed initially but you're going to have to adjust your play style to that so also another thing to think about your weapons so you know what your weapons will do you'll know your abilities but do you know your opponents say you're taking on a um archer do you know what a bow can do do you know if they have a slow shot or something something similar to that you know what i mean because with this being such a wide variety and not being class-based, you're not going to know exactly what your opponent can do unless you've already looked into the weapon itself they are using. So you might want to diversify and look into other things when you're going to take on other players. So New World's PvP is opt-in, which is a lot different than the alpha they had, I want to say, a year ago. A year ago, New World, the face of New World looked a lot different than it is now. It was a more of a survival game, and it was completely open-world PvP. I mean, there was no opt-in system, which has its benefits and its pros and its cons. I personally like the opt-in system. Call me a scrub. Call me a noob. I'm going to have my PV on PvP all, all the time. So come come find me. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fight. But it is an opt-in system. So you can only damage others that are flagged as long as you are flagged for PvP. After level 10. So level 10 is when you can actually start your PvP experience. And they changed this from the recent alpha, I believe. The recent alpha had PvP open to all levels. They found there was too much griefing, so they stopped that. And now, at level 10, you will choose a faction. So this is a decision to not, uh, to not take lightly. You have three choices. You can be a marauder, part of the marauders, the syndicate, and the covenant. So do, you, do your research... They say you'll have plenty of time to realize what these uh, factions are about before you join up. But at level 10, you have to join and you cannot change after that. So choose your faction wisely. Your faction will give you PvP missions. So once you choose, once you accept one of these missions, um, you will automatically become flagged for PvP. If you die or if you opt out of PvP, the mission is failed. So remember that. So if you, you, you want to be prepared to go in before you quest up mission up i think it's the same basically the same thing basically same uh thought same process there yeah you can opt in flag for pvp in a safe area so a settlement or your house which is player housing is in this game if you guys didn't know that which is really cool we'll get on that later <clears throat> in order to opt out you need to go back to the safe area so this is a really important fact of this because so you opt in right then you go out there in the outworld to find some people to fight to uh, put put your put your dukes up. I was gonna I was gonna say tussle. Yeah, tussle. There we go. That's what I was looking for. The, the the British term. But yes, you're gonna go out there. You're gonna tussle with some people, and you cannot opt out unless you go back to the safe area. Now this is a good idea because if you're fighting somebody and they, you know, they 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 can't. You don't. I mean, they don't want you don't want them to take a cheap way out. You want to be able to escape easily. So they can't do that. So the. I hear a lot of people saying, you know, they should, it should be PvP all the time, right? 
You know, I mean, I, I don't feel like getting griefed for three hours trying to do a single mission or quest. So this is a good system, in my opinion. And this is all the open world. So there's another uh, faction player in the, in the world. You get missions to go do that stuff to clear ten, ten uh, syndicate members. And that's how it's going to go. That's how the basic open world PvP is going to go. Of course, you can find people in the open world and just keep fighting with them. Which will be... Is, I, I can't wait to see. Just because there's so many factors in this. If there's going to be a certain area. Is there going to be like an arena? Like, um... I'm trying to think of the, the arena in uh, WoW. In the jungle. The, the Whatever jungle there. Comment down below. Let me know. But, yeah. I cannot wait to start doing some open world PvP. Now, we're going to get to the bread and butter of PvP. Wars. So, wars are far over territory between factions. And this is what they say is the big PvP. I don't believe it's instance-based, but it could be. So, in order to declare a war, company to declare a war, or a faction to declare a war on another faction's territory, you need to have standing in that territory. So, you'll have to do quests and build up reputation in this area. These wars will be 50 on 50 attacking and defending so 100 players total across the board and out of a server i believe a thousand to two thousand is what they were hoping to do I'm not sure ex exactly what they've decided on if they've, they're still up in the air on that but that's a pretty good chunk of the population of a server <clears throat> so once you declare a time for this there's a siege window so as, for the siege window you need as an attacker you need to go cap these points and continue into the uh, fort, I believe, is what they're in. Fort or settlement. I'm not sure exactly if the, it's going to be the fort or the settlement. Um, I believe it's going to be fort, though. Because that just makes more sense instead of tearing down a complete settlement. But you'll have to attack the settlement, bust down the gates with your siege weapons that you can actually have and attack them with. So it's a lot like the in PvP invasions, except you're playing with other players. And, there's, you, you, and you have a time window... About an hour, from what I saw. <clears throat> so, you need to knock down the gates, and there is a central flag in these forts, or these um, settlements, that you need to capture. You have to, um, as an attacker, go in there for, uh, for a, number, a, a specific amount of time, and hold the flag, and at the end of that, you win. For attackers, it's pretty obvious what you gotta do. You gotta to push back the oncoming army, or group of... 50 people is an army, right? I think that's pretty much an army. 50 people is a good army. But, yes, yeah, so you need to hold off. Again, you will be able to do this with siege weapons on your gates, just like the invasions. And a whole bunch of other goodies. I think the big difference between this and um, invasions, I as far as I've seen, you don't get those coins to spend on the armament. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a crafting, a, a new crafting thing you need to get to build the siege weapons, or which would be really cool. If someone could focus on building siege weapons, that would be their their specific craft thing. Again, as this video has come out, they just released a lot more info about um, crafting and items in New World. So go check that out, because that's going to be really cool. There's something about backpacks for item weight, and that's where I learned about, you know, items are weighted. This is a, this is a whole bunch of cool new things you're going to have to think about. It's not just a complete basic MMO. Hopefully, the one thing I don't want is a lot of survival based gameplay in this i don't want to, have to worry about my water i don't want to, have to worry about my food i mean follow 70 here you go follow 76 of that and i fucking hated it and sorry about swearing but i didn't like it and, and yes it was a survival game but they put a lot of, they put a lot of weight and it seems like you're eating constantly in that game this game i hope if they do have that it's not very heavy on your character i don't think there is from what i've seen from the pictures from reading the articles doesn't seem like there's any more of that. So they come a long way from their survival idea to this MMO. And yeah, that's basically, I think, what we got here. Yeah, Defenders hold off the tax. And that's what I have to say about this. And I'm really, I, I really can't wait because I want to play Alpha. Come on, give me the Alpha there, uh, New World. I'm, 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 I'm waiting. I know you guys are giving out 40 now. Roll them out. Or release the beta for us who pre-ordered. That'd be cool. Because I, I really need something to distract me from this whole crazy world going on right now. But, what do you guys think? Let me know. Do you, are you guys excited for the PvP? Do you think the wars are going to be a good idea? Do you think 
is there do you think the opt-in option is good or bad let me know down below again if you guys would be so kind as to give this video a thumbs up share it around the interwebs subscribe to that this channel and you can come join me we can go fight and help and or you can help me fight over on my twitch channel the box and dachshund at twitch tv links will be down in the description below again thank you guys as always for hanging out and until next time guys keep fighting